The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make or to make a path while picking the heads of grain. At this, the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need and he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God when Abiathar was high priest and ate the bread of offering that only the priests could lawfully eat and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Good morning. Pakibati nga po ng isang magandang umaga. Good morning ang ating mga katabi. And to our pilgrims, welcome to your parish. And also to our online parishioners, it's a beautiful day again. It's a new day that the Lord has given to us. We are now on day 17, January 17 po ngayon. In our list of 23 for 2023, we go to word number 17. And the, the word today is quite obvious because it was, it was mentioned five times in our gospel today. Sabbath, Shabbat in Hebrew, the day of rest the seventh day after creation in the seventh day in the genesis account he rested god rested the third commandment in the decalogue keep holy the sabbath day and in our gospel jesus tells us that the sabbath was made for man and not man for the sabbath and he is Lord. The Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. So this morning, I'd like to explore with you our meditation on the Shabbat, the Sabbath, the day of rest. Sa ating mundo ngayon, mahirap nang intindihin ng Shabbat or Sabbath kasi tayo po ay namumuhay sa mundo ng walang tulugan at walang kapahingahan. Minsan po, no, to familiarize myself dito po sa ating parokya, ay paggabi, umiikot po ako para kung si mayor on my bike and going around our area. At madalas ay nagagawi ako sa may ermita. Hindi pala ako dapat magawi doon paggabi. <laughs> Ang daming pumapara sa akin. But umikot ko kayo dito sa buong Manila paggabi. Manila by night is there's no rest. Lahat ay gising at na maraming tao kapag gabi. Hindi na tayo marunong magpahinga. In the, in the urban life, it is so hard to find some rest. Sabi po ni Pope Francis, man has never rested as much as today, yet man has never experienced as much as emptiness and restlessness today. Kaya ho, malaki ang ekonomiya ng leisure and pleasure, ng tourism. Kasi maraming mga tao ay gustong magpahinga, gustong makahanap ng kapahingahan pupunta ng iba't ibang bansa para makapagbakasyon. Pero pagbalik sa Pilipinas, pagod din ulit. <laughs> Marami akong nakakasama sa pilgrimage na 
Pagbalik sa Pilipinas ay, Father, kailangan ko ulit ng bakasyon. <laughs> Kaba, bakasyon, walang magbabakasyon ka naman. Kasi napagod sa bakasyon, kaya kailangan ulit ng bakasyon. Our, our restlessness leads us to escapism. Ang ating leisure and pleasure is really more uh, our way of escaping from the worries of the world. A hedonistic lifestyle, we are all pleasure seekers in one way or another. Opportunities to amuse us, kaya ang dami hong mga amusement parks, amusement games. Opportunities to amuse ourselves, there are plenty to go out, to be entertained. We want to be entertained. Entertainment on demand, Netflix and whatnot, you have everything. Ang sabi ni Pope Francis, in the world today, there is so much opportunity in order to escape, to be entertained, but not much in terms of rest. Modern, the modern world is able to produce occasions for temporar temporary pleasure but can never engender authentic joy. Because where can you find real rest? Where can you really find the Shabbat? Our readings today would tell us rest. Rest can only be found in the Lord. That's why there is the injunction, keep holy the Sabbath. Because it's only in the Lord can we truly find rest. Pakitan nung nga ang katabi mo, nakakapagpahinga ka ba ba? Sa wari ko, hindi eh. No? Again, to be very, very candid and honest with you, mga parishioners po ng, uh, ng, uh, ng Santa Maria Goretti, I've been enjoying this past two months that I have stayed here in the parish because this is my Shabbat. Sa pinanggalingan ko pong dating parokya, again, a confession, patawarin ako ng Panginoon. Ang aking pong misa doon, no? Baka ako po i-crucify ng mga bishop. Ang average na misa ko kapag uh, weekend ay sampu. Labing siyam ang aming kapilya na uh, hindi mo naman pwedeng talikuran ng iyong obligasyon bilang parish priest. Kaya mimisahan mo sila. Siyam ang aming misa sa main church at labing siyam ang kapilya na kailangan mong ikutan. Kaya on a given weekend, I would have around 10 masses. Patawarin ako ng Panginoon. Pero obligasyon, hindi ko mo pwedeng uh, talikuran. Dito po sa ating parokya, this is my Shabbat. I only have one Mass a day and it's a luxury for me. And also on a Sunday, I have around one or two Masses. A great luxury for me. Kaya tinan nyo po ang aking mukha. Uh, marami ako mga parishioners na nagsasabi sa akin, Father, bumabata tayo. At sabi ko, eh, nasa Gorepe ako eh. <laughs> this is my Shabbat, sabbatical. And thank you so much, Father Dave, for recommending me here and Cardinal Joe for placing me here. But nevertheless, I digress. We go back to the Shabbat. We need the Sabbat in our life. Let me refer to you this beautiful book by a Jewish rabbi, Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel. He wrote a book, The Sabbath. I would like you to look into it, kahit man lang sa Google. Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel, in his book, The Sabbath, he said, The Sabbath is the presence of God in the world, open to the soul of man. God is not in things of space, but in moments of time. The meaning of the Sabbath is to celebrate time rather than space. Six days a week we live under the tyranny of things of space. On the Sabbath, we try to become attuned to holiness in time. It is a day on which we are called upon to share in what is eternal in time, to turn from the results of creation to the mystery of creation. Six times, six days a week, we have our hands full. But one day a week, our soul needs rest. The Shabbat is the day we reserve for the Lord. And even every day, sabi ni Rabbi Abraham Heschel, 
every day could be a Shabbat. Every day could be a sanctification of time and not just filling up spaces of our schedule. Ang mga tao daw, ang sabi niya, ang hilig-hilig nating punuin ang mga spasyo ng ating buhay and we have no more time. Time is gold and time is our greatest treasure because this is a moment to be sanctified, to be filled up not by human activities but to be filled up by the divine presence in our life. So the Shabbat, the Sabbath is when the Lord conquers time. When your space is filled up by the eternal. Ang ganda ng sinabi niya, the Sabbath is the time to share in what is eternal in time. Yung bigyan mo ng panahon ng Diyos sa iyong buhay, na napakarami mong ginagampanan at ginagawa. It is not a matter of having work, being employed or unemployed, busy or not. No. Kasi ang daming-daming mga taong may panahon pero walang panahon sa panalangin. May mga taong punong-puno ng gampanin pero may panahon para sa pagdarasal at pakikipagniig sa Diyos. The Sabbath is the presence of God, the eternal in time. It is giving priority to time over space. Beautiful. This book of Rabbi Abraham Heschel. And Jesus in our gospel tells us, I am the Lord of the Sabbath. Meaning, He is the Lord of your time. May isang uh, writer po ang nagsabi sa kanya, kung ikaw ay papipiliin, you are 94, you are a billionaire, you are a multi-billionaire, and you are 95 years old, or you are 25 and you have no money, what will you choose to be? You are 95 years old and a billionaire, and you are 25 years old and have no money, who would you like to be? We are time billionaires if you are young. Because time, as Pope Francis would say, time is greater than space. Ibig sabihin ng time, when you are able to make yourself available, sabi po ni Henry Nouwen, the problem in the world today is efficiency. People want to be effective, efficient. But no one wants to be available. No one wants to be docile. No one wants to spend time. Mga daddy, time. Your children, they're not, they will not stay as children. The time you waste in not spending with them, because you are busy with many things, those are times that you will not ever, ever recover anymore. Time is greater than space. Life becomes beautiful when the heart opens to eternal, to providence. And one discovers that Psalm 62, as Pope Francis would say, For God alone my soul waits in silence. For God alone my soul waits in silence. That's Shabbat. Shabbat is not about not doing anything. Ang sabat ay hindi yung sa wala kang ginagawa. Ang sabat, ang ibig sabihin nito ay panahon na iniaalay mo at sinusuko mo sa Diyos. Because rest in the name of the Lord has a precise reason. It is the day of contemplation. It is the day to be blessed by the presence of God. It is freedom from slavery. We are enslaved by work six times a week. Let that Shabbat be a day and a moment when we are free. By definition, slaves cannot rest. But they are given a jubilee, a Shabbat, in order to rest. Do not be a slave of the world. And every time, and every week at least, We set ourselves free from the shackles of space and schedules. 
and we just take it gently and we spend time time with your spouse time with your children time with your friends time to be with yourself and most of all time to be with the eternal and something beautiful na sinabi ni Rabbi uh, Abraham Heschel in his book six days a week we wrestle with the world on the Sabbath we care for the seed of eternity planted in the soul unless one learns to relish the taste of Shabbat one will be unable to enjoy the taste of eternity in the world to come let me repeat that unless one learns to relish the taste of the Shabbat one will be unable to enjoy the taste of eternity in the world to come Shabbat is the moment when we taste eternity in time so tanong po ngayong araw na ito who is the real slave Sino ba yung talagang tunay na alipin? Yun hubang mga kasambahay na walang day off? O tayo na walang day off? Sabagat walang panahon para sa panalangin, para sa pakipagkaisa sa Diyos. Six, day, six days a week, friends, we wrestle with the work of our hands. At least, once a week on a Shabbat, we rest our soul in the Lord. Find time. Find time. Hindi ko pwedeng sabihin na wala akong time. Kaya po, let me propose to you a very practical suggestion. If you are ordering your week, if you are making your schedule for the week, for the month, even for the day, what is the first order of the day, the priority? The priority of the Shabbat. There is a moment in our day that we rest. Reserve it for God. There is a moment in our week that we rest. We reserve it for God. We prioritize. We find time. Because, as Rabbi Heschel would say, unless we come to relish and be familiar with the Shabbat, will never be familiar with the eternal when it comes. So sa misa natin, sa umagang ito, our word number 17, find your sabbatical. The world today is in a sabbatical because of the pandemic and we have not learned at all what it means to rest. Akala natin pag walang ginagawa, boring. Akala natin pag nananalangin, walang nangyayari. Akala natin pag nagdadasal, nagsasayang ng panahon. Mga kapatid, your Shabbat is the moment when, you, when your heart rests and your soul belongs to God, the Eternal who is in time. Magpahinga po tayo. Pahinga tayo sa Panginoon. Sa panalangin, sa panahon na tayo ay nakikipagniig sa Diyos doon din tayo lumalakas para sa ating mga gawain we take our rest because that's also the time we energize and recharge ourselves to face the busyness of our days keep holy the Shabbat Amen. friends we need a Sabbath we need space and time to be with God too often in our life, we fill up all the spaces with earthly stuff, material things. Akala natin habang dumadami ang gamit ari-arian pera natin, we think our spaces are full but our time is empty because we did not have the time to be with one another, to be with your family, to be with your, ch with your children and spouse. Pope Francis says, time is greater than space and the Sabbath is about time, eternity in time, encounter with God in our day, in our day. So I invite all of you, find your Sabbath every day, not just at the end of the week, but every day, find your Sabbath, find your eternity in time in your day.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may our loving God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Our Sabbath is ended. Go in the peace and love of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>